Hey, I'm gonna play this real quick, man. Like, uh, being that we, is this is this, is this a little talking too much? Y'all let me know, man. Five different times. When he got shot the last time, that was his sixth time getting shot. So don't act like I was on trial for a good Samaritan. Let me run it again. He was a convicted child rapist. Convicted. He beat five murder charges. He was a known robber in the city. He beat his mama with a two by four. He been shot 29 times on six different occasions. If anybody came to my trial, you would have saw his body up there with 29 marks in it. 29 times shot over on six different occasions. He beat five bodies. Let's, let's talk about it. He's a convicted child rapist who was fucking her and her little sister, Draco. I ain't snitching on nobody. He did. <laughs> I ain't sitting on nobody. He dead. He playing space with Tupac right now. Oh my God. He playing space with Tupac. He dead. Let's keep it real, man. They act like I was on like I was on trial for a college student. Man, they act like I was on trial for a college student, man. This man was a convicted child rapist. Was fucking all his sisters. Beat five bodies. Now let's keep it real, bro. Don't act like I was on trial for a college student. He got shot 29 times. Five different occasions. He was a black cat. He was a black cat. Oh, you're right. Tupac wouldn't play spades with him. He a convicted child rapist. Tupac wouldn't play spades with him. Tupac wouldn't play spades with him. You're right. Everybody, he beat everybody he went up for. Let's keep it real, man. Everybody in Baton Rouge know I'm speaking facts. If anybody from Baton Rouge on here, they're going to say he ain't lying. If anybody from Baton Rouge on this line, they're going to say he ain't lying. God going to... If anybody on Baton Rouge in here, they gonna say he ain't lying. All right, I get the I get the gist of it. What do you think? He's just popping his shit. You think he's doing a little too much talking? He was on trial for this particular body. I let Marlo Mike killed him, killed the girl's brother. She went on Instagram a bunch of times saying that he Boosie had him killed and all this down the third. He went, he got locked up in his body. He went to, he was on trial for these bodies. Yeah. So that's bro. What do you think about this situation, right? You mean he's just oh the hate is that the hate I mean, is that public bad. information if he beat five bodies and he got shot those man, that's public information that was brought in this trial. So it's not it ain't like he telling on nothing. He said he was a convicted child rapist, so that's his rap sheet. Like so it ain't like he's I think he might be kind of like incriminating himself a little bit because I mean even though he's Got no, you know, he beat it or whatever. I mean, he went, got found guilty, then came back on appeal and, you know, won. Because he basically saying, like, you know, he, he, he giving him reasoning for why the dude is dead. Like, he won a college student. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so being took the stand. I don't know. Nah, he's setting like context for people who don't know the situation yeah. and just like like blind to the whole thing and people just talking like the media giving this side of the that story. That wasn't his baby mother brother. That was his baby mother 
she was fucking him. All right, B, let me talk, though. Like, he's giving his side of the story, like, what's going on, like, from his perspective. That's what he's talking about. Like, he's giving it, like, how he feels. Like, yo, ho you, you know who Homeboy is? Let me, let me, let me put some light on this. Since y'all all, all want to talk about me, like, I'm a bad guy. Yeah, so well, who know who, the know who I smoke. Huh? Hey. The dude he talking about is a brother? Yeah. His baby mama brother? Yeah. Yeah. So he giving light to it. Like, he know, like, he let, like, he got a platform, bro. Like, so he letting them know, like, nah, what you talking about? Why would the baby mama... All right, so after it was, it's been time since he's been out. So if if they feel that he killed their brother, why would they go back around him? Then? That was the one he been had bad blood with. Yeah, I know that's the daughter. He, had he might have went around her, her father, but I don't oh, think the baby mom went around. around him. He said the mama been around him too. He said that, know. like since he been home. I don't know. Money, what you think? What's what's the key? I don't know. This been the one that he had the bad blood with. Allegedly, the brother tried to rob him or steal something, try to kill some shit. The brother tried allegedly, and Marlo Mike clipped him. It says it all in the paperwork, and then that was the reason why he got him killed allegedly. But he beat that. Marlo Mike, you know. Got convicted of these murders. He only got convicted of one. They didn't even try him on the other eight or whatever because he already got life assigned for the one or the two assigned. So the BM took the stand against Boozy too? Yeah. And then she went on Instagram after that, like saying shit and doing a lot of shit. This is why it's a little bad. Job. His daughter was saying today, his daughter has some lives. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I mean, I hate to see that. Like, I don't understand, like, sometimes these kids in this generation, bro, like, the way his daughter, like, she's his blood, man, and he tried, like, as a father, coming from a father perspective, I hate to see that, like, with, 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 with parents and their kids, man, you know what I'm saying? It's sad. Definitely. But, um... You know, he's an outspoken individual. He does a lot of these things that people consider to be ghetto and, you know, hood. And, you know, so, like, this is just another part of it to me. Yo, his daughter says she'd rather have... A trapper, yeah, instead of a... a trapper. Lawyer. Instead of a, a famous dad like him. But that just so the mind state. And she is... That's crazy. She said that? Yeah, she said that, bro. She said that. She'd rather have a trapper. I wish my daddy trapped or something. Like, maybe, like... like I'd rather have a trap or that. What you say? You think what, what kind of mind state you think Boosie got? Is it like a ghetto, a coon, a nigga mind state? Uh, I think, I think a, street, a street, a street mind state. Like what's mind state you, you, you tag Boosie with? I give him street, and he stand on his. He stand on principality. You know what I'm saying? He stand on principality. So you don't he's, think putting his ball? Principal. I don't say he's like. He got like he got instances where he, he he gets out of like you know if if it's if it's unpolitically correct then it might be deemed ghetto but some in other people's eyes it may not you know what I'm saying so but outside of that no nah, Boosie I mean he do him old school yeah he definitely I ain't say old school it's it's real like like on some Standing your ground kind of shit, standing principled up, you know what I'm saying? Standing like living they with don't you. Think throwing a baby mom and a daughter into a diss song was a little uh I mean shit. I, I so when a country a country singer make a song about his you can't wife. Answer a question with a question. I'm the, Federer, you can you can you can answer too. What you feel about that? You know, being him throwing a baby mom and a daughter into a diss song. You don't think that was a little ghetto? Yeah, that's ghetto. He show what it is. They can, but they've talked about his kids too. They can, they ghetto, they can. Talking about him and the baby mom, flip him and his man, little Ivy. Ivy passed away too. He's dead. Rest in peace of him. What? I don't care, bro. He said. He said, "Little Ivy is who's little Ivy." That was his man. I got killed. And, and little Ivy was, and, and him was flipping up the baby mom. Yeah, he yo, up in the song. I yo, Po, nigga, yeah. nigga, Boosie ghetto as hell, bro. But he been. That's what like, I'm asking. Like, like, so like, like, if you want to put like music, like you, like you did make a valid point, federal. 
You said Eminem did the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Was that ghetto? Trailer Park, Trailer Park, Eminem. Yeah, Trailer Park, trailer park trash. Trailer park trash. What's the difference? What's your, yo, come on, man. Don't do that. Yo, B, man. I'm saying I'm going to the ghetto if it's art, though. If it's it's hip hop. It, it's it is ghetto art. art. It's art. It's ghetto art. Like, it's ghetto art. Like, it's ghetto. What are you talking about? Like, why are you bringing up your. your when your, Hope your got problem. beat up by Solange in the elevator, right? He ain't. Never. He ain't never talk about it. What? When the situation with Solange popped on Hope allegedly for cheating on B allegedly. Remember, you know, with Shorty with the good hair and all that? Yeah. He ain't never put in no funny bars, diss him, and he might, you know he might throw a little subliminal, but. Who talked about shooting his brother? That was shot his, he shot at his brother. That happened. That's your brother. Like that my brother's got. That's, that's not with the leg. Yeah. What if his man, daughter? My... You know, that's the first time he said that. But now his daughter got to hear that song forever. Like you talking crazy about the ball? Ungrateful. That's what he said. Ungrateful. I heard that part. He said, "I'm taking you out my wheel tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. I'm taking you out my wheel tomorrow. But I'm that's afraid. real. I've seen this. I've seen that happen in real life situations." Like I've seen that happen with, with my own fam family members, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when you get to that level of disrespect, maybe she can make amends in the future. Maybe this is this is a, a a a stump in the road that they're going through, you know what I'm saying? But like I've seen that happen, bro. I've seen that happen recently where my man pops past and left my man everything, and then. His family was living in the house. His, his other siblings were living in the house. My man had to kick them out. Like, it was all kinds of shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Honoring the dad's wishes, bro, sometimes. But. What it's called? Like, no, like, honoring the dad's wishes. So, like, like say somebody, when they leave a last will and testament, and, like, say, I, I'm going to be real with you. Like, my mom would say stuff. Like, I hate having them conversations, but, you know. You know, especially when you're getting older and stuff. You got to do it, B. You got to do, do it, bro. You had those conversations like, you know, how she wants her shit to go. Carry it out. Like, you know, honoring that leads to solitude. You know what I'm saying? So some people don't honor the dead, honor the dad's wishes. And then I, I, I look at it as a, a like a like you gonna have negative karma because you didn't you didn't honor what you said you were. You know what I'm saying?